You will again help decide whether Democrats or Republicans control the U.S. Senate. Democratic Senator Tammy Baldwin today launched her re-election campaign for 2024, but we still don't know who is going to run against her. Our Jason Calvi looks at the power of your vote. Both conservatives. She's a formidable candidate. And progressives. I think she is looking like a favorite. Agree, Senator Tammy Baldwin will be hard to beat. Wisconsinites need somebody who's on their side fighting for them, lowering prices, creating good paying jobs. Senator Tammy Baldwin speaks after announcing she's running again in 2024. In 2012, she won by five points. Then in 2018, she had a landslide win in a state with many razor thin elections. She won by nearly 11 points. Wisconsin went with incumbents in 2022, the Republican senator and Democratic governor. You know, one thing that we saw in the 2022 midterms was the power of incumbency. In 2024, no Republicans have announced if they're running. Conservatives say they could beat Baldwin. What this kind of highlights is the need for, for new leadership for fresh candidates, we're not rehashing old elections. You know, the center right in Wisconsin really needs to unite around the idea of winning elections uh, rather than infighting. Yeah, I think Congressman Mike Gallagher from the 8th Congressional District is probably the candidate who would fare the best. You know, it, it remains to be seen uh, whether that success that he's had in his home district would translate to a statewide race, uh, whether he would be the type of candidate who would succeed in a Republican primary. Again, your vote will have great power. So you could look at the Wisconsin GOP congressman, but they'd have to give up their seats to run against Baldwin, something they might not be willing to do now. Former Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark said he'd be open to running, and Republican insiders say businessman Eric Hovde might be eyeing a run. Ben? We'll watch and see. Jason Vang.